once you've installed your FOPA system and you've been playing around for a couple of days and uh, you've now got the hang of it and you would like to go live, the question is always, okay, well, how do I clear all of that out? Because if I now go and look at my figures and I go and do a dashboard argument's sake, I've got a, a lot of information in there and I possibly don't want that information. We've got a utility called FOPAS Initialize that will allow you to um, automatically wipe that out. So you can go to your FOPAS folder and in FOPAS folder you'll have a program called FOPAS Initialize. Once you've double clicked on FOPAS Initialize it'll open up and the first question would be the password. The password is day day hash hash month month. Um, in other words today is the uh, 15th of September 2017 if you look on your computer and again check your computer date your computer date might be wrong and if it's wrong then this, this utility won't work and you'll email us and say it's not working well it's not working because the date on your computer is different from the date that we've got okay um, so the uh, as we said there's a 15 so i'm going to type in 15 hash hash which is shift and three shift and three together zero nine press enter now when i click uh, on begin here it's going to wipe out all my sales it will not wipe out my items it will not wipe out my prices my suppliers my debtors um, anything like that only the transactions so if i click on begin it says warning Running this utility will wipe out all the data on this database. Well, your utility will wipe out the sales stock, GRV, etc. Now, the stock is not the stock quantity. It's just the sales quantities. Okay, it will not zeroize your stock either. All right. If you wish to continue, yes. Uh, thank you. And now, as you can see, it's complete. Now, if I go back into my back office uh, and I say go to today, you'll see it defaulted back to 2005. In other words, there's been no day in, therefore it is now the default date. And just for background, 2005 is when Forpos was started, um, registered as a company called Forpos, and that's why the date comes up with that. And if I now go to that date and I say load reports and I look at my reports, my dashboard is all blank. Okay, in other words, there's nothing there. There's no day end figures, uh, no day end reports that were done. If I look at my, uh, under sorry, under order processing process or print GRVs, there's also no GRVs anymore. There's, uh, it's been clean. But my stock figures or my stock items are still all there and my stock quantities are all there. So again, uh, in most of the videos I've referred to an item called Castle Can. So if I look at history there, you'll see that the history is still on the system. Okay. Uh, in other words, the the four pods initialize uh, did exactly what we set out to do. It, in other words, it cleared out all my sales figures. Whatever I do from this point onwards will then be live and so on. This is not a utility that you can run and say, I want to clear out the last three days worth or the last five days. It is a utility to clear out all sales. No, we cannot change it so that you can clear out a specific day or a couple of days and so on. Um, it's just not possible. All right. So please use it for what it is intended for uh, and use with care, especially because uh, there is no undo, as I said in some of the other videos. Enjoy.